Hey guys, welcome back to Mega Motor Moves. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to winterize and decommission your boat for the winter season. Do a little maintenance, lower unit, gear oil change, spark plugs, outboard winterization, and shrink wrapping. Stay tuned, as always, like and subscribe to the channel. Today's video, we're gonna do it on a 2013 Bayliner Element with a 60 horsepower Mercury four-stroke outboard. Step one, simple and easy. Got my boat on the trailer. Trim the motor down all the way. Make sure the prop's not touching the ground. Free spinning. Got my hose hooked up, water running. And we're gonna do a quick flush to the engine. time I'm going to clean off all the mold and mildew from their cushions before we prep this for winter storage. I'll leave all the cushions in the boat propped open like this so all the hatches can air out and breathe. I recommend to keep the upholstery in good condition. We want to get all that mold and mildew off of there and keep them nice and clean for the next season. Upholstery is not cheap. It is uh, fairly easy to maintain but it's very hard to come by these days and especially at a affordable price so let's keep that upholstery maintained. Inside the boat here, it looks like we do have some, or just some old leaves, debris. I'm gonna let this dry out and then vacuum all this stuff up. I just don't like to leave boats over the winter with a bunch of crud in them. I'm also gonna disconnect the battery when I'm done with all the engine maintenance and store that battery on a trickle charger for the winter. This battery's in good shape. We wanna keep it in good shape. You should always put it on a trickle charger indoors and a, uh, you know, climate controlled area so the battery lasts for another year. The side seems to be holding a little water. Figure out where the clog is at, but definitely want to get that water out of there before we store. And then we got about a half tank of fuel, it's fine. Just gonna put a little bit of fuel stabilizer for the winter. Um, that way any moisture or anything that's in the fuel, you know, stays good, it's ready to go for next year. So with this Mercury engine, we have a very basic 60 horsepower, one liter, four-cylinder, four-stroke engine, built in 2013. All I'm going to do, change the four spark plugs, change your oil filter, date it, drain our oil, put new engine oil in it, drain the gear lube out of the lower unit, replace it, fill from the bottom up to our oil level fill, and vent it at the same time so I can fill it. We'll show that on time lapse. I recommend we replace the anode. Engine oil drain right here. Loosen the engine oil drain, let that drain out. And then really, with these four stroke outboards, you do not need to fog them. You do not need to run antifreeze through them, but just for safe, we're gonna run a little bit of antifreeze through the engine, open up the thermostats, get it warm, just so we don't have any issues, no matter what. Other than that, that's all you need to do for these outboards. I recommend you keep them vertical instead of tilting up during the winter. But since we're gonna run any freeze through it, I don't think if it's gonna matter if we tilt it up or leave it in this orientation.
All right, lower unit oil is changed. Engine oil is drained and new filters in. I gotta put the new engine oil in. Spark plugs are good to go. I have to hit a couple of these grease fittings for our steering and trim. I might clean some of this grease up that's left over from last year, but uh, last thing, I'm not gonna replace the water pump impeller. It was done this spring and this motor hasn't been ran a whole lot this season. So maybe in the spring, we put a new water pump impeller in the lower unit here. But other than that, we're looking good to go. Now I'm gonna pull this fuel tank out, take it to the gas station, top it off, put some fuel stabilizer in it for the winter. And then once I get new oil in the engine, turn the engine on, let it heat up, thermostat's open, let it pump some of this stabilized fuel through it. And the last thing we do is we'll put our antifreeze hooked up so it starts spitting out pink and we'll be done. Now with the fuel tank back in the boat, hooked up and primed, I've got my hose hooked up. We're gonna turn the water on, let this engine run for a little while, let it get hot, let the thermostat open, get some of that treated fuel through it. And then once I'm done there, I'll hook up my winterization tool, let the engine keep running, pour some antifreeze through the system, shut it off, and it'll be done for the winter. And finally, we hooked up our clappers to the bottom. Let's see if we can get that to adjust a little bit. Ran our fitting and antifreeze to the engine, sucked it up, waited till it spit out pink at our outlet fitting here. We're all good to go. Finally, I'm gonna pull the battery, store that for the winter on a trickle charger. And last but not least, this boat will get shrink wrapped and it's done for the winter. There we go, how to winterize your outboard boat for the winter and get it prepped for next season. Thanks for joining guys.